Hey, what's up guys, Philip here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I use the Logitech MX keys on my phone setup, or rather with my phone. And the way I use the Logitech MX keys on my phone may not be for everyone, but I just thought I'd share how I like to, you know, customize and optimize my setup. Also, side note, you don't have to use the Logitech MX keys only. You can do it with other Logitech keyboards like the Logitech K780 I have over here. And the reason it's nice to use um, some of the Logitech keyboards is they have these device switcher buttons, which makes it really easy to simply push a button and switch to your computer or your phone in just a click of a button. And what's also is nice about the setup or rather something to note is that I'm not only using a keyboard, I'm also using a Logitech mouse. Here I'm using the Logitech M720, which is a pretty cheap mouse. I believe it goes for around $30. And with this mouse, you can switch between three different devices. If you wanna see a review with about of this keyboard or this keyboard here or the mouse, make sure you guys click the links in the description below and you can learn more about how these products actually work. So let's hop on the computer and I'm gonna show y'all how I like to use these Logitech peripherals with my phone. So here we are at my desk setup and we have our keyboard our mouse and a phone. So I'm gonna start off by saying some of the ways that I like to use this keyboard and mouse combo with my phone. And we're gonna start off with some of the more practical things. So the first practical thing I like to do is text messaging. So if I open my phone here, you can see that I'm uh, clicking with my mouse and the mouse is connected to the computer currently. So if I click on my messages here and I can say something like, hey, what's up? And then I can click send and I'm not gonna send, this is just a shipping notification. And I kinda like how I could just use my mouse and keyboard to type on my phone. And then once I'm done, I just click this, um, let me get in focus. I just click the number one button, and then now I'm on the computer, and you can see my mouse moving around on the computer. And what's cool is I can just push this button, I'm on the fly, on the fly I can switch. So now I'm on my phone over here, and then back on my computer. And the keyboard also has a similar button where I can switch between three devices. And both of this, uh, both the keyboard and the mouse can pair up to three devices and you can switch on the fly between the devices. And that's gonna make it feel a lot more immersive. So you don't have to like get your hands off of your keyboard and mouse keyboard setup pretty much ever when using the phone for texting. So the next way I like to use my keyboard and mouse on my phone is to take screenshots from Instagram and have them automatically sync to my computer. So this is pretty handy because the Instagram experience isn't very good on the web browser. It's kind of, it's very different from the mobile experience. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're just going to go on Instagram here and we're going to type in say logo. We're looking for ideas. And then we're gonna find some logos that we like. Hmm, maybe we like this one. We're gonna hold our mouse on it and click screenshot on the keyboard. And it's gonna take a screenshot and save it to our phone. And then we're gonna, let's see, what other logo do we like? I like this one as well. So you can run down the feed over here and take screenshots of things you find interesting and they're gonna automatically sync to your computer. So for them to sync to your computer, you're gonna have to have Dropbox installed. And if you actually go to the Dropbox, uh, application on your phone and you go to the settings and then if you scroll down to uh, camera uploads you push that and then there's a checkbox right here that says camera uploads photos will upload to the camera uploads folder on your personal dropbox so basically anywhere you have dropbox installed it's gonna take those photos that you saved on your phone and then sync them there so if we hop on the computer i'm gonna push the mouse button here number one is my setting and then on my keyboard i'm gonna push number one and then on my keyboard i'm gonna or on my computer i'm gonna go to my dropbox folder and you can see here there's a file called uh camera uploads with drop which dropbox creates and you could see some of the screenshots we took earlier so that's a pretty handy method on how to take screenshots and have them automatically come to your desktop and then with these screenshots on your desktop maybe you can you know open them up in photoshop and you can play with them or whatever you want keep in mind that the way i like to use this setup may not apply to you but it may trigger some ideas on how you may find it helpful to 
you know, and make your workflow a little bit more better and optimized. All right, the next one is more for developers and designers. Um, so basically, I do a lot of web development and I have to constantly check what the website looks like on the website and then what it looks like on the on a mobile device. So if I go to my web uh, little tool I use here called Webflow, you can see that um, you know I have a website here working on desktop and I can edit things and tweak things and all that fun stuff. But if I click this mobile button here and I see there's this big pin that's kind of like in the way. And if I go to my mobile, let's confirm that this pin is there. Um, we go there and we can see that there is a little pin here, but it's much uh, more smaller and kind of out of the way. So I don't like it here. I kind of want to move it in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my computer with my mouse over here and on my keyboard. And then I'm going to tell this thing to go a little lower, maybe like down here, down here. And then I'm just going to click publish you know, push, this is a test server. And then I'm gonna switch back to my phone as well and on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna push, uh, I'm gonna refresh. So a refresh is you can do control R on your keyboard and you don't have to always go over here and push refresh. So that's kind of nice to have the keyboard and the mouse. So we can see after refreshing that the pen moved down here. So that's pretty cool and it helps you, um, you know, make it a little more intuitive while you're actually coding up websites and designing them to see what it looks like between your desktop and your phone. So as you just witnessed, I created a much more fluid and immersive experience between your phone and your computer. So I think it's really cool that these products, the Logitech keyboard and the Logitech mouse over here, have the power to really kind of connect your phone and computer together and it feels a lot more immersive and just, I don't know, more convenient to use. Because when I'm using my phone and then I gotta go back on the computer and then my phone and back there and back there and back, I find it that it really throws me off my game and I just feel like I work slower when I'm constantly switching. But like this, I'm always sitting back in my chair and you know, if I need to use my phone, I'll just quickly tap a button on my keyboard, I'm on my phone. And same with the mouse as well. If you need to do that, it's, uh, you know, with your thumb, you can easily access it. So anyways, let me know what y'all think about this setup on how I use this down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button. And one more thing, if you want to see more videos like this and just tech reviews in general, make sure you guys click that subscribe button and I'll keep y'all in the loop. Thanks for watching.